Okay, guys, being here. Uh, pre previously, we did we did uh, an, a couple of exercise, so uh, using a mass and adaptive family, and I just want to thank um, O O O Tom Pan um, He mentioned about the you use a reference reference plans to um, to manually place the grids. Okay, so um, this is something I haven't um, tried before. So today I'm going to show you. Uh, so this. Okay, so so first let's create a. I'm going to just create uh, a mess. Okay, so it can be mess or adaptive family. So it will be the same. So first, uh, I'm going to just uh, place. Let's just place some reference line. Okay, so I'll copy. I'll, I'll place one and go to a uh, side, side uh, view, and I'll just copy them up. Uh, up. So I will have three, three uh, re uh, spline, and I'll just make them reference line. So and then I'll just roughly uh, just adjust the point so we can we can create something from them. So one, two, three. We can create a form. So this is a face. So usually what we uh, do is we will select this face and we use a divided surface. And this pattern is quite is um you. It's it's automatic, so you can either use number or distance, but it won't be you know exactly uh, horizontal or uh, unless unless this face is a straight face. But if it's a curved face, it won't be uh, exactly horizontal or vertical. So what we can do to make uh, exactly horizontal, or you can have some random grids. On this face, so so we can do this. So first, I'll just un, un, uh, turn turn this off, change this to uh, none. Okay. So now what we can do is we can go to um, either. So let's go to floor plan. So first, I'm going to draw some reference plan up RP. So reference plan. So for example, this, and I'm going to just uh, copy. Let's copy some. Okay. So Maybe I'll copy the maybe every uh, three meters, maybe. Okay, so top, just type in three meter, another three meter, something. <laughs> okay, so that should be enough. And then we can go to so on the right hand side will be uh, east. Okay, so this is uh, maybe let's just copy a, a, a couple more. One more. Oops. Ah, I'll just ask that should be enough. And then we need a few more. Okay, so I'll just you can just copy one, rotate by 90 degrees. Okay, so I'll just drag it um, roughly three meters above the level and then I'm going to copy copy it, it again okay so I'll, I'll do a three meter or you can just you can even do different so let's try different uh, levels so we can just go up a little bit you can even have you know rotate some of the reference plan you don't need to uh, you can have them like this okay so maybe let's rotate some of them Something like this. Okay, so now we can we can select this face. So here we have this intersects. So let's have a look what. Uh, okay, so that's uh, in, let's try this list first. Okay, so in the list we can pick the levels and the reference plans which uh, there's a name to it. So I'll see if we can. So for example, I'll I'll give it. Can we give it, it a name? So let's call it A, and let's try a list. Yes. So if you give the reference uh, plan a name, so you will be able to pick these. So you can just do 
uh, pick all these uh, uh, level and reference plans or you can or you can just use this one I believe so select this one and then you can just select everything so for example these are all the uh, vertical uh, yeah so all the vertical reference plan and also uh, here so you will be you will see these uh, these are the horizontal let me just find a angle to select all these okay so select this so now we have all the reference plans selected so if I click finish and so now you will see on this surface on this mass so these are the grids these are manually uh, placed okay so this way doesn't matter you um, you change you know you move the points you create uh, all the the um, a very organic shape and the grids will always match the reference plan so if you if you want to you can always have them horizontal or vertical or just random pattern okay so and then you can apply all the patterns it's, uh, exactly the same so for example I'll just apply this one and say you'll see this is it okay so I just learned this uh, yesterday so yeah it's just something hiding there um, so this uh, so so this if we use this we can just so for this uh, for this uh, exercise so day 39 I believe 397 and 398 so it will be a easier method so we can just create a, a face like this with all the horizontal and vertical reference plans so all the shape all the shape all the shape of the box will be uh, exact the same and then we can just place an adaptive family on them and then we just need to uh, maybe use dynamo to control the depth of the box so depending on the height of the box the, 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 the one on the top will be um, thinner uh, shallower so that one on the bottom will be deeper so okay so that's I think that's that's it um, actually I'll quickly I just um, quickly show you another example okay so so for that one I think I'll just draw a um, let me just draw a half circle half circle or maybe a quarter let's just do a quarter so it will be something like this okay and also I'll just make it reference a line and also I'll do a straight line so here and make it reference line so if I create a form from these two it will be half a sphere so create form we can create this form okay so this one usually when we use a divided, divided surface you will see um, so the pattern so you, uh, the distance between so the vert um, um, so the distance between these grids so this the horizontal grids are always the same so which means for this one this will be a rectangular so a horizontal uh, rectangular and in the middle will be roughly a square and in the top it will, will be vertical uh, rectangular shape so um, we can't do much about this so if we want to do to model uh, something like um, pan what's that name pantheon pan pantheon uh, sorry <laughs> so yeah so if we want to create something like this because this shape if you look at this it's always almost square 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 and square which means the horizontal grid of this uh, they're not uh, 
the same so what we can do to create that pattern is so let's let's just do it so for example this one i'm going to um turn off one of the grid yes okay so this one so i'll leave this one here and i'll just do i'll do another one on this half okay so what we i'm going to do is go to side view i'm going to just draw a uh, reference plan okay rp so let me just move this away from here so, oops let's try to move this away and v okay so let's go to the side plan oh sorry side view elevation view and then we can create a reference plan so uh, what actually what i'm going to do is i'll just roughly get so rough this is the the vertical grid so it's about here to here so i'm going to roughly get one maybe like this okay so I'll maybe go up a little bit so let's try roughly make it a uh, square and then i'll copy another one so this one will be slightly smaller and then smaller again and smaller again and smaller again so now if i select this half and use intercepts and pick all these uh, reference plan and if i click finish so now we have this pattern so see this this so um it's not perfect but it's just to show you so maybe you can still adjust them so let me just hang on, let me just hide this one h h yeah so let's go back to elevation so now we can so you can just move uh move the reference uh plan so for example if i move this down a little bit so the pattern will follow the reference plan okay so now you will be able to create you know all uh, almost a uh, uh, sorry a square shape okay so if i change if i use maybe rectangle um maybe this one so you will see that this shape this shape will almost almost a uh, square and if i hr to show this one so if i use uh, this pattern on this one you will see this is a uh, rectangular and then become roughly square and then go back to rectangular but this one you can you can uh try to make them all uh square okay so um that's it for today um thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye